I am in the uh, gathering room here at the Pet Loss Center, and I want you to take a look. This is um, where somebody could come for their loved one. Um, this is a, a, a casket that you can bury your pets in, um, and there's two different sizes. I want you guys to come over here and, and kind of tell me about this. They're made of fiberglass. They are a little bit wider through here okay. to accommodate for the special needs of those pets who have long legs, you know, the way they're jointed and bent so that they can appear comfortable and you're not, you know, trying to cramp them. Okay. And Mark, I want you to tell me, there's no embalming in this process at all, is there? Correct. It, typically, if, if a family wants to view if we need to, we can um, use dry ice as a preservative um, underneath. They would not see that but it would help to keep the pet uh, so that it would be able to be viewed. Okay, and then um, kind of tell me, you know, people are looking at this right now, they're waking up this morning, they're like, oh my goodness, a pet funeral home? What do you have to say to those people? Well, that everyone grieves in their own way and everyone needs to be respectful of what others' needs are to help them move from a time of grief, a period of grief, to a place of healing. Okay, and you guys have uh, answers for anyone. I mean, they have cards here if you want to send a card to a coworker who just lost a pet. I mean, they have it all. So I'm going to give you some more information. Um, the services, actually, they started only $50. Cremation mm. services started only $65. So it's something that's affordable for the person that wants it. All right. All right. More and more for families, pets are just a big part of the family, and mm -hmm. when they pass away, Way, well, you know, it's devastating. Yeah. Perhaps an appropriate way to say goodbye. And we want to hear from you on our Facebook page. 